Hi guys, it's Loretta with Sparrowhawker Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I am downstairs in the basement, which is where I do most of my altered book journal stuff, and then I do most of my sewing upstairs. So, in case you're wondering why when you watch my videos you don't always get a consistent view. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you gotta be careful, you might knock something over. Anyway, uh, I finished the altered book art piece called I'm Just a Girl. I thought I would come on and share it with you. Um, I was doing some of this, uh, I was um, taking you along with me for some of the pages and I got sidetracked and I don't know what all happened. So <laughs> anyway, here's the finish, finished product. Uh, I ended up not using any of the covers that I originally had picked out. That I always wait till it's done because, because then I know what I'm supposed to put on the front, which is, I know it's not everybody does it that way and I'm, I'm weird. So anyway, this is, uh, I just put, I made a pretty simple cover. Um, and, uh, I love that image of these two ladies, like going out for adventure. I like dream, I dream that this is like Thelma and Louise's great grandmothers or something. Anyway. Um, and then just the side and then on the back I just did some uh, glitter paint so pretty simple and this is meant to just like sit and be displayed you know you're actually supposed to display these books kind of like you know like that because they're kind of like conversation pieces you know but anyway um, so this is I'm just a girl which is the prompt on all the pages so I'm just a girl standing in front of a salad wanting it to be three tacos, two chalupas, and a pitcher of margaritas. And oh, there we go. And, <laughs> so, and oh, how that is so true because I love Mexican food. I guess that's actually Tex-Mex food, I think. Um, anyway, and then some of these you've seen, but I'm going to go through the whole thing anyway. I'm just a girl wondering why a watched pot never boils. And I'm just a girl thinking about my to-do list, which this is me whenever I think about my to-do list. For real. <laughs> uh, I used, so some of these actresses that I did, that I dipped in wax and then, um, and then did some, I guess that's uh, glitter paint that I used in the actress journal. I went on ahead, I had like a couple left, so I went on ahead and, and put them on here as well. Anyway, yeah, that's that. And so then this is just a, a pocket. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna put in the packets yet. I might not put anything. I might just leave it for somebody to do what they want. And then I'm just a girl realizing the rooster may crow, but the hen delivers the goods. Because, I mean, there are two photographs here of women with feathers on their head. Like, this is an actual, like, I guess a dead rooster. I hope it's not alive. <laughs> that would be, like, really weird. Um... Uh, and then this is just, this just looks like a feather duster, but like, isn't that crazy? So of course I had to use those, right? And, um, the feathers just are just, they are real feathers. They just come in the packages from like, uh, Joann's or Hobby Lobby or whatever. And then I am just a girl realizing that life is too short to have boring hair. She has like trees growing out of her hair or something. And I'm just a girl wondering why the men always get the remote control. Do you ever wonder that? I wonder that. <laughs> and then, I'm just a girl pretending to listen, but daydreaming about pizza. Because, yeah. <laughs> and then... I'm just a girl wondering if her reality check bounced and realizing that with the right hat, nothing else matters.
And then these are two pockets. And then I'm just a girl laughing, just not on the outside. And I'm just a girl with simple tastes. Riding on an ostrich. I'm just a girl wondering why humidity hates hair. And I'm just a girl standing in line at Starbucks. I'm just a girl realizing that patience, patience is not a virtue, it's a miracle. <laughs> oh. I have glue on my fingers. <laughs> uh, I'm just a girl realizing that it is the same life whether we spend it laughing or crying. And lastly, I'm just a girl realizing that the weekend has begun. I love this picture. Put some glitter paint on the on the uh, lace trim there as well. So there you go. That's finished. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> It was originally supposed to be a gift for somebody, but I actually ended up making her something else. So I, so I don't know what to do with this. I don't know. I, I might, I guess I could sell it, but I ha would have absolutely no idea what to charge for this. Anyway, I had a ton of fun making it and it's not a journal. It literally is. It, this is an art piece. Um, I've heard the, uh, the altered books like this. I've heard them called like you know, like book sculptures. <laughs> and I guess that that's kind of a good way to describe it. But isn't that fun? That's so much fun. And yeah, the, uh, the spine on this is completely at its, like it cannot, <laughs> it cannot be bent anymore. So... Anyway, guys, this was a ton of fun. Let's see it from the bottom. Let's see it from the top. I reinforced each page with fabric and just decided to leave it because I kind of liked the look of it. Anyway, so, yeah, it's just going to sit somewhere like that. So, my next uh, book project is going to be an altered book for my grandson he's only five but he loves my books that I make <clears throat> excuse me and has requested one so I'm gonna make him one I know people are like oh he's too young for that but I don't care uh, this is this is going to be his his book I've started tearing pages out already and um, since it's it's like a knight on a horse with a castle in the back and since they're uh, this particular grandson his name is Ivan um, his room is done in knights and castles and dragons so I thought I'm gonna kind of go with this sort of fairy tale knight dragon chivalry kind of thing theme for his book um, anyway yeah I've already started tearing out pages I've already started reinforcing pages I can't wait to get started in it because um, this particular aesthetic is like I love the medieval stuff so um, Anyway, it's going to be a ton of fun. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Bye.